two of the best in the game stand at the heads of their team. Marley Packer and Sophie De Goody, teammates in club rugby. Rivalries tonight as the Red Rose of England takes on the Maple Leaf of Canada. Picking out a runners around the corner. Oh, Croft. Every England ball carrier making good meters at the moment. And now the Aitchison sees a little space in behind, sweeping across. Oh, Ferris and Assurance got in each other's way. And did she just in time get a fingertip on it? So Kildun's just swooped through. Yeah, so backwards by red, no clear grounding. And then grounded by England, try stands. Great spot by the referee and a great big hand from Ellie Kildun to get England on the board. Huge opportunity here for Canada as Tatosi finds Holtkamp and they set to drive. It's tucked under the left arm of Emily Tatosi at the back and they're well organised Canada trying to Same beat hole. England at their own game. Tatosi crashes over. Brilliant set piece execution from Canada. Into their patterns aren't they doing what works for them and here they come as O'Donnell brings down that line out. Yep. And O'Donnell just yep. roaring her team mind. on. It's at the mind. back for Atkin Davis. Yeah, get out now, one. And again, they roll yeah, forward. Advantage. It's still their control. Oh, They've earned a penalty, but they're going to get a try. It's brilliant. Try. England doing what England does. And Lark Atkin Davis easy comes up. up with a try. Easy up, easy up. No damage done, in fact. They've gone ahead in that time with H's and off, and here they come once more, rumbling forward Get off the leg. Get off to the leg. England. Canada conceded a penalty in this area last time as long with the try. One way, then the other. Ken Davis in the back now, Hunt clearing out bodies. England crashing over. Time's off. It looked down, it looked good. Grounding try. Grabbed an extra couple of metres, and now the hands down low backwards. Oh, that one's come glancing off the side of poor old Amber Reid. And away come Canada, breaking Paige Ferris with all her pace. She's got speed to burn. McDonald chasing, not going to get a hand on Paige Ferris. And Canada turned defence into attack, and they turn it into a try. Scored twice from similar positions in the first half, did England. And they're going to be hard to stop here. While well, the transfer was quick into the hands of Packer. And now it's funneled back for Atkin Don't Davis. She's three, got two. Out, and now she's got a hat trick. Lark Atkin Class. Davis. Lark Atkin Davis has got three. She's going stay, to get this stay, one stay, back stay, and might up. fancy herself four here. They've got seven, eight metres to go and they are just rolling forward. Here comes number four for Lark Atkin right. Davis. Really good. Winner telling. Just a young player finding her feet in this England side. In some way, as is Ellie Kildun just slides through the tackle, accelerates away. Little ball back in field for Jess Breach, who scores tries against Canada for fun. What a strike for England. There's no room. Skips out of the first tackle, weaves her way to the line. All the speed you need. And it's Claudia McDonald's turn to break out for England. Get the ball out is the cry. Vivas obliges and England notch up another big win in WXV1. Lark Atkin Davis, number two, congratulations. You're the MasterCard player of the match. Wow, incredible performance from you. Four tries, 20 points. How did it feel out there? Um, yeah, it was certainly a tough game against Canada. Um, fair play to them. They definitely challenged us. Um, and credit to the forwards. We executed when we need to, which meant that I got over the line. So, yeah, like I said, um, really tough game, but great to get a good performance in and get the win today. Week two of the WXV1, what's been the highlight uh, for you so far? Um, obviously, playing at stadiums like this is really cool, um, travelling around New Zealand, but I think you know, being part of this team is something super special, and each week we're building, we're growing, and yeah, I wouldn't want to be with part of any other team, and what we did today, another special performance, and we keep building. Thank you. And now I would like to invite Otago's under-16 representative, Melody Buckby, to share the Mastercard Play of the Match trophy with Lark. Atkin Davis. Marley, congratulations. Your side continues to ascend and set the benchmark for other countries to follow. What do you put that down to? Just 
hard work and dedication, um, not just the players but the staff as well. We keep they keep asking us questions to to make us better players and people off the pitch as well. And you know, full credit to Canada. Um, they came at us for a full 80 minutes, and we knew they would. We played two games with them in the warm-up games to this tournament. Um, and yeah, just full credit to the girls. We we kept on doing what we said we were going to do, and the way we finished off that game is uh, something that I'm super proud of, and they should be super proud of as well. Absolutely. And to shine light on you, I mean, you're the world class in all facets of the game, leading try score with 11 so far, and you're leading lots of the statistics from carries, tackles or breakdown steals. What are the factors that have enabled you to perform consistently well this year? Um, I think for me, it's about the team. Like, I can't do any of that stuff without the players around me, and they're all phenomenal players. So, look... For me, I just love playing rugby and, you know, I want to put my best performance on every time I step onto that pitch and leave this shirt in a better place. And, you know, I've got the likes of Maisie Allen um, chasing my feet and she's making me be a better player and I hope I'm helping her along the way with that. But, you know, I can't do any of that without the team around me and the team at home as well, my family, Oliver, um, he drives me every day and, you know, everything about that just makes me the person I am. That's wonderful. You're a captain class and all the best against the Black Queens next week. Thank you very much. Thank you everyone to come today.